Okay, today we will talk about how to explain variables. Now, variables are an important thing in uh, many programming languages, at least the languages which I know. So let me explain this. Uh, I have two techniques uh, for uh, beginners and kids. And the first technique I will go ahead with is called the box technique. So think about this box, an empty box, and this is my friend Ankita over here. She's uh, She likes this technique quite a bit. But this box has a name. Let's call it, uh, let's see, what can I call it? Let's call it my box for now. Right, so my box. Okay, and the uh, interesting thing about my box is it can hold values or hold things in it. And, uh, and this, this, uh, these values can change. So uh, let's say I can hold the number 10 inside this box. I'm going to put number 10. And if I say, hey, um, I want to store uh, number 100 in this, what happens is this box uh, can hold number 100. No problem about that. But what happens is it can only, st it can only store one value at any given moment. So it can only store 100. And what happens is this 10 no more exist. Okay, so it, so the box technique is this. It, it has a name, my box. It can store a value. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Okay, let me go to the next thing, a little more advanced concept about a box or a box technique. The, uh, uh, so in this case, I have a cylindrical container. You want to call it a box? Uh, not really, but a cylindrical container. And it also stores things. So in this case, it can store let's say a red ball because it's you know round in shape and um, you know you can go inside this in this container what it cannot do is uh, have a, a cube stored because a cube is you know cube probably won't excuse me a, a cube probably would not fit I'm having the wrong pen again uh, let's do this. Um, yeah, a cube probably won't fit this thing, uh, especially if it's a slightly bigger cube, right? A slightly bigger cube would not fit into this. So this probably is not a good drawing again. Let me draw a bigger cube. That is a bigger cube. So it can only fix or it can only fit uh, items uh, which it's meant to fit into this uh, cylinder. The property of the cylinder is kind of circular in shape. Right, uh, and it can only fit circular type objects. Does that make sense? I mean, that is just a concept. I should call it a concept. So, uh, so going back to uh, boxes, boxes can only store stuff which it's supposed to store. It has a certain type. Uh, this is a cylindrical type of container, and this is a you know cubical type. So, just a concept to park in your head for now. But the next technique I want to walk you through, which is also allow, uh, also uh, also describes variables, is the milk bottle. So a milk bottle is a container, and you can you can store milk in it. So I'm going to store a little bit of milk in it, let's say that much, and then um, so it's going to change if I pour more milk into this, right? So this is a variable quantity and this milk bottle's name is let's call it bottle for now right bottle and it has changing values or changing values within it so this bottle is a variable with changing values okay the name of this variable is bottle and it has changing values hopefully that makes sense it's pretty straightforward so um, let's go straight into python for a bit so i have a box and i called it i and i stored one so i'll get one inside this box now i say i plus equals to one a little advanced concept a lot of kids don't understand this a lot of beginners don't understand this but really it stands for i i is a variable it stores uh you know plus equal to one is translated as i i equal to i plus one so i plus equals to one is a syntax which really means this i equal to i plus one and what does that mean? So I I was one before inside this box, this variable, and now I have um, i plus one, which is one plus one. This will go into two, so this will become two. Okay. So so now this box or this variable contains two. Now what happens when you do i equals hundred? 
Exactly. This box will contain 100. So I'm just going to rub that, erase this, and uh, put, put in 100. Okay? So this box I contains 100 right now. Hopefully that makes sense.